given the complexity of the issues and some of which we've discussed tonight, and the geographical size of the community, would the city and city government best be served by council districts or wards? Steve? Absolute, absolutely. I believe in that. Now, I've heard a lot of uh, talk about you know, representation and how one council member would only represent one area and another council member represent the other and they wouldn't be able to work together and they'd all have these competing priorities. Well, that's not the kind of council members you should be electing. You should be electing council members who will work together. Here's the thing, what happens in Dos Lagos does affect North Corona. What happens in Sierra del Oro does affect McKinley. We are all one city and bringing down bringing everything to a ward system where you will actually know your representative much better than you do the other five people up there because one person cannot reach 160 something thousand people but one person is much easier to walk and knock on doors and to meet you if they are in one district so I am very much for districting I don't have a very strong preference one way or the other but I feel that it's in the best interest of our community to not have districts, and let me explain. And that is because you have five who represent you. I've done my homework and I've talked to cities, I have started a mayor's um, luncheon that we get together with all the mayors from Riverside County, and there's 28 of us, and we talk about that, because some of the cities are districts and some aren't. And what happens is, the real politics come in hand, and I'm not sure if I totally agree with Mr. Ruth, the true politics come in because if you're in my district and you and I don't see eye to eye, you have no one else to turn to because Mr. Houston wouldn't necessarily have any desire to help you because you're not gonna be voting for him. If you get the, the, you know, the wonderful thing of all of us seeing eye to eye and we're all working together, that's great. But if you look at those cities that have districts, we're teetering on that edge that we may have to look at that and the voters bring it, then I say, then put it on the ballot and let the voters decide. Of course, where we live, um, I would love districts. I mean, I'm the only candidate that lives up there. I mean, Eugene's <laughs> close, but, uh, and as for the rest of the standing candidates, they live within a mile of each other. So who's representing Green River? Or um, Sierra Del Oro, I'm sorry. But I don't see a candidate for that area. So I'm just, kind of at a loss of saying, well, if you have a candidate, he or she should be running, just like Dos Lagos. So is it fair to say we want district? Well, kind of it is. You have everybody in the same district except me. So am I going to handle all the other districts? Or it all depends on how it's cut up. So until there's more candidates and willingness to run, in that geographical area, we can't even look at doing districts. Yes and no. <laughs> Karen mentioned some of the uh, problems with having um, districts and trust me, I would love to not have to be campaigning for 155,000 people. That makes our life as candidates so much easier. But you have to think of the ramifications. In the last couple of years, we re repaved 6th Street all the way across. That probably would have affected one, maybe one and a half districts. Who would have fought for that money? In a city like Riverside and Moreno Valley, what they do is they take the budget and they split it into five pieces. So if you have a project that's gonna cost $20 million to build, you will have to wait you know, four or five years to get that amount of money. So I don't disagree that in one respect that uh, it would be good to have districts, but if we ever did that, I wanna make sure that we did it as a charter city and we go through the process and actually approve a charter as well. Well, after walking and knocking on about 3,000 plus doors, my feet would vote for districts. But um, you know, I, I think what we have to look at is that yes, it would be great to have a representative for each section of the city. And what Eugene says, there are some downfalls and we'd have to really make sure that we put that charter together so that we maintain a, a proper budget and that everything gets taken care of readily as, as well. 
But I think what's important about seeing districts is that we would have an elected mayor. And that elected mayor would sit for a four-year term, and then we would have one person in charge that would keep projects in front of the council and have direction. And I think that's really important and what we need to look for in the future of the city of Corona.